Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Review Time to leatherface the music and retire this franchise vulnerable hippie kids wandering into a wilderness only to be slaughtered meant something different in 1974 when Tobe Hooper s unmatched the Texas Chainsaw Massacre emerged. It was either Vietnam, the revenge of Nixon's silent majority, or simply a shock for horror fans still getting used to the idea of finding terrors in their own backyards, not Transylvania. Texas is still inhospitable to outsiders in David Blue Garcia's much-must-over sequel, barely 81 minutes but still with not enough meat on the bone, thematically or otherwise. Traipsing into the ghost town of Harlow, a group of gentrifying Zoomers hopes to set up their cafes, art galleries, and comic stores. These people are instantly hateable, with the exception of 8th grade s lonely-looking Elsie Fisher, who deserves better, along for the ride with her sister. Wish I'd known why all were coming, I'd have put my face on, says one suspicious local upon hearing the youngsters knock on her door. It is the movie's only good line, and you want to fire up the chainsaw for her. Problems of unlikability are compounded by an unusually spry leather face, Mark Burnham, who should be hitting 75 by now but is, for some reason, parked in an orphanage. Hooper's original worked as a cracked portrait of a cannibalistic family, womanless and desperately compensating. Here, Leatherface is just Jason or Michael, lumbering and omnipotent. So is Sally Hardesty, Olwen Fowler, the original S final girl now grown into a hawk like Texas Ranger bent on payback, a model that works a lot better when it is Jamie Lee Curtis doing the back paying. Already the movie feels strained by too many tugs. Should it be gorier? Younger? More retro? All of those things? That is the worst solution, and one inexcusable last act development, the survivor of a school shooting picking up a rifle, is the worst kind of conservative fantasy. America HASNT changed much since Hooper put a capstone on the horror genre. We may even be closer to vicious class warfare than ever. A remake could have been fun if it had been made with vision or at least an appreciation of the original. If that is grade A beef, call this one a rancid veggie burger. Grade D.